I'm not swimming in it, but I am happily burdened with coin. Enough to get many things that I've been looking at to help out a new adventurer. Many spells, not of the powerful kind, but more of a novice level utility type. I cannot see myself casting fireballs like the famed Imperial Battle Mages, but I will learn the basics. In the near future, I will also look at getting my sword enchanted. Now that requires soul gems. I have a few and have bought the spell to take my target's soul, but I have little actual practice with that school of magic. One can apparently enchant anything that you wear with some sort of magical property. I could even enchant the shirt under my armor with something. All I need is experience and much, much more coin, but it will come. My day will be here soon where I will be known as a person who you do not cross. Speaking of that, it seems that I crossed someone on the mainland. If the Dark Brotherhood came here for me, then someone either from my past in the Imperial City wants me eliminated, or someone that I do not know wants me dead. Either way, they are from the mainland since the Dark Brotherhood does not operate in Vardenfell. This is Morag Tong territory, and they have the Imperial authority to operate here exclusively. So what that says to me is that someone with considerable power or money is behind it. After being in that Dwemer dungeon, I have accrued thousands of gold, and I'm very happy to be able to go and finally buy... How can I help? I'll do what I can. Yes, you can help me. Buy some... Oops, not repair. Barter. Buy some adamantium. Just the cheap ones. I have over 4,000 gold. I still have things to sell. I don't think you'll take these emeralds, though. To go to the Khajiit to sell that. Or, yeah. Alright. Um, so I can get a left bracer. A pauldron. A right bracer. And a pauldron. So that's three items, is it not? It's four items. Okay, so left, left, right, right. And it'll still leave me with around 800 once I'm done. Plus, I can sell these items. I make out with a little bit more. Thank you very much, Meldor. Let's put these on. doesn't go with the bone mold, but I'm on my way to having my decent, nice, protective armor again that I was so used to back in Imperial City. Oh, it's a nice day out. Bustling, let's go to the Eight Plates. And then I'm going to go back to that Kimono Tong building. Hello. Yes, I'd like to entertain the patrons again. Hmm. Well, how about I tell a few more jokes? I told a few funny jokes. They listened. Sometimes they smiled. Thanks. That wasn't bad. But you need a little more than that if you want to make a living at this. I'm on my way. Please have a look around. Seems that now the harvest is in, Valmora is a lot more crowded. I'm a little leery, though, of trying to convince this Kimono Tong person to uh, give up his key. Now, what? I also have to go to Thiesgill and ask, talk to them about the bad people that. Larius Vero told me about. Okay, so where is it? Um, okay. Get the key from. Okay, so Andres Narano is the one that has a key, but it may be easier to get the key from one of his servants, Silver Trando, the one I tried to pickpocket and failed miserably in my epically bad Bosmer moment. I hope they don't attack me upon entering here. We'll see. Speak, traveler. 
Close the hand again. Oh, where was it? So, Silver Trando. Well, you're not the guy I tried to pickpocket, though. He would be... So you're the one I had that misunderstanding with. Look, Outlander, foreigners are not very popular in Morrowind, so try to make yourself more agreeable if you expect people to be helpful. Agreed. How about ten gold? I suppose we can talk more. Another ten? Well, that's thoughtful, Snell Railvein. I'll take it into consideration. But a little bit more. Is that all you think I'm worth? No, more? You're too kind, Snell Railvein. I can't refuse such a friendly gesture. Well, very well, Snell Railvein. I'll see what can be done. How about some more? Everyone can always use some extra coin. What do you need? All right. Uh, I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to talk to you about Andres Narano. I work for him. What else do you want to know? Well, what do you do? I'm sorry, Trando, a savant. What's it to you? Hmm. What a little bit more gold. You cannot purchase honor with gold under World Enforcer. A little bit more. Very well, so Renault. <laughs> Sunel Railvane. A little bit more. This is suitable. How about more? Okay, well, I'm not exactly impressing him as much as I had hoped. I think that this should be good enough. So what can you tell me about the Narano Manor? That's where I work. For a small consideration, I might tell you a little bit more. That means he wants more. A little bit more. Alright, you want the key? Just don't tell Andres Narano I did this. Not that he doesn't deserve it with what he pays me. Thank you very much. Quickly out. Cost me a few hundred gold. Seems I still have a long ways to go to get better at this. I've got to go see Sugarlip Sabasi and see what she wants me to do next. At least they didn't try to take my head when I was in there. I expected worse because they did try to murder me last time. If you need a good laugh or a tall tale, you've come to the right place. From where do you hail? Warm day to you. Did you get the Narano Manor key for Habasi? I did. You have a key for Habasi. Yes, here it is. Yes, Habasi likes this key very much. Habasi pays you well for this key. Oh. 500 gold. Thank you. I actually did make a bit of a profit off that. Do you have any more... Actually, I would like to talk to you about bad people. If the bad people you're looking for are Kimona Tong, and they're in Balmora, you'll find them at the Council Club Corner Club. That's the local Kimona Tong hangout. The scout would be Vadusa Sathron, Marissa Aren would be the pawnbroker, the thief would be Madral Thirith, Sovier Trandau is the savant, Thanalin Velas would be the smith. Do you have any more jobs for me? Rizid. No good friend of Habasi. Stole Dwemer artifacts from the guild. What Dwemer artifacts? Go to Fatlegs drop off in Hua Oud. If Rizid won't give you a Dwemer artifacts, find them and return them to Habasi. Must bring Habasi a Dwarven goblet, a Dwarven bowl, and a Dwemer tube. I could have picked this up when I was in that Dwemer. Ruined. Okay, actually, while well, I still have a little bit of coin, I have bought a few spells with my excess money. What does the Dunmer need? You trained, you not, in security. Hmm, it's getting expensive. Dirt, 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 dirt. Everywhere, dirt. How about... One more time, one more hour of training. Thank you. I really should go rest, though. What can Khajiit do for you? What is this about? Do 
just feels so much busier now. You can hear all the people within their homes talking on top of their homes. In on top, walking around. What, Enwa? Last seed day. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. I've made Please her like me. It's nice being able to convince people that I'm not so bad. All right, let's sleep for a long, long while. I had a disturbing dream. I can only recall one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led me among the dead as through a wedding celebration. I heard many voices, but no lips moved. I strained to breathe, but my chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking as if they were alive, but they made no reply. I tried to cry out, but without breath. My tongue fluttered in vain. That was a very, very strange dream. I had a strange dream when I first came to Vardafell. What was that from? And then a previous night, I had somebody try to come kill me. No, I had Go a, ahead, please. Tell I me about one. yourself. Another strange dream. Fog has returned. Early morning. If I want to sell those rubies, I guess I'll go to Ravir. You want something? Yes, I've got something to sell you. Or emeralds, I mean. Not as worth as much as I'd hoped. Not like diamonds. Oh, you can't afford it. That's right, I sold a lot of my items to you. I'll return this trader over here. I heard a spell being cast. Another... I didn't sound like the bat. The strange bats that are casting these spells. No, it is. Oh, I forgot about this. I have a new, uh, it's a bone mold bowl. Bone mold long bow. It's actually quite a bit better than the steel bow. There's three of them up there. It's kind of far away. Oh, they're fighting, they're attacking people. So strange. Come down here. Ah, oh, that's a good hit. And I miss. You see the arrow sticking out of it. Not bad shooting. Something so small and high up in the air. Yes. Hi, I have some emeralds to sell. And you have absolutely nothing. <laughs> I must have been here too. Sorry to waste your time. Well, another person that would be this trader. Duralasa Nerithra, a pawnbroker. Hello? What is it, Sarah? I'd like to barter. Um, I have these emeralds for sale. 150 for the both, please. Oh. Not as too much. 145. 142. Alright. Coin pincher. More bats. So strange. I've decided to go to Ebenhart. I've seen it from a distance. I've never been there by my, uh, before. So let's go to Vivek. It would take a few hours of travel. Where would you like to go? Oh, okay. 
This is Vivek again. Calmberry. Evenheart. I hope there's bridges. Uh, I go down the peninsula. I have two things there that I'd like to do. I've got to talk to... What did that ordinator tell? Said something about the Dark Brotherhood. I've been targeted. Hmm. He told me that my guard told me to attack his members of the Dark Brotherhood that I have been targeted for assassination. He suggests I speak with Apelles Matthias in Evenheart for more information. Oh, I have a new spell, but I am... I don't know this school very well. Oh. I didn't actually buy it, I looked at it. <laughs> I have water breathing, and I was looking at it walking on water. I think I see a couple natches over there. These are the... F that's a bull natch. There's lots of natches out. The spores coming from these mushrooms. Target practice. I saw a uh, Nyx Hound over there as well. You have to be careful with those bull netches. They can be aggressive. There's the Nyx Hound. There's two of them. Dead. a little further away. It's moving. Stay still. Missed. Dead. Ow. I'm turning into a real Bosmer with my bow. this 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 doesn't look like a mine it looks like a tomb which I will not enter unless I'm actually asked to For the family this is a tomb I won't enter that it's protected by the family spirits oh it's from a rat Peninsula. I find the way. There's niches everywhere. Let's see if I can't get lodging over there. You don't want to get close to the bull niches. You don't know how they'll react. I'll try to get away from them if I can. The females are okay. The smaller ones. These ones. Make this strange noise. So, even hearts over there. We've got to find a bridge heading that way. If I see another mine, I think I'll go in there. Just go up across the other side. And this is ocean water. Huh. There's a slaughter fish in there. I'm kind of going the opposite way I want to go. I need to go south. Some farming community. I guess this is the guard. Hello. What makes you think I want to talk with you? Who are you? If I liked you better, then I might tell you. Oh, please, by all means, ask me lots of questions. 
I'm familiar with this place, actually. I think it's just part of the greater Vivic area. It's like they're, they're raising Natchez here. Good for leather. Make armor out of them. According to my map, I have a long way to go. It's down like here. I'm close to Palangia. You know what? I really could use a horse boat right now. <laughs> Is this the right... It's over here. I'll s swim it. Right into a slaughterfish. I think I got something from that. Slaughterfish. I don't feel too well. I don't think that I bought... Magnus is starting to rise. I don't think that I bought a... Oh, I did. I bought a Cure Common Disease spell. There. I feel much better. So that's simple to get rid of a disease. That's Vivek City. Oh. These things can be extremely dangerous and tough. If I can help it. No, that's it's not they're not aggressive at the moment. It would have come after me. Whew. Thank the nine. What? Cliff Racer this far south? Missed. I hit it. It's dead. This way. Hmm. Oh, Magnus, you look beautiful rising in the east like that. I like walking on a starry night, but having Magnus over me, shining and warming me up, just makes me feel content. Place. Seems like a crossroads area. Sejanine, where I started, is just over to the east of here. Or west of here, I mean. You see Bardell. Rat! Must have snuck up on it. Even heart, even heart. It's we got a whole legion. Well, I'm not sure if the whole legion's there, but that's where it's it's headquartered for Bardenfell. Somebody wonders why there's no more mud crabs in the area. That would be because of me. Target practicing. Depopulated was a Kaguti. I'm gonna have to kill him. Missed. Yeah. 
Lots of wildlife on the way down here. This is the main path. This is where all the, on Vardenfell anyways, all the, um, the, the lords, the, those who are big within the imperial circles will reside. The imperial cult is also here, apparently. Big fortified place. There'll be legion soldiers everywhere. Magnus, you're starting to rise later in the day. Oh, I've heard about this. In fact, you can see this statue from across in Vivek City. Dragon. Yeah, you can see it over there. from the, the temple right there. The temple, and that's Vivek's palace. But I used to be able to s see this from that distance. Okay, I don't even know what the name was. Considering I forget little things so quickly. Apelles Matthias. Apelles Matthias. Where would I even start? Who is a Pelles Matthias? Hello? S soldier? Yes? I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. Do you know where a Pelles Matthias is? I think I saw him walking the battlements. You might check up there. Okay, what can you tell me about Ebenhardt? Ebenhardt is the Imperial headquarters for Vardenfell District and a busy seaport. Duke Vadim Dren is the district's ruler and emperor's representative. The Duke lives in Castle Evenhart. The District Council Chambers and the Hawkmoth Legion Garrison are also at Castle Evenhart. The East Empire Company buildings and docks are outside the castle facing Vivek to the east. That's right where we're facing right now. Thank you. Walking the battlements. I'm listening. I would assume it would be up there. <laughs> This is what I mean about male Bosmer. He looks like a jester. <laughs> oh, are you... You wouldn't be happen to be a Pele's Matthias, would you? What's this about the Dark Brotherhood? You say you've been attacked by them? The fact that you're standing here seems to suggest otherwise. Well, it's true. Perhaps you've been attacked. That's bad business. I don't know who it is that wants you dead, and I don't want to know. Dark Brotherhood activity here in Vardenfell has been almost unheard of, but I know they have a large contingent back in the, on the mainland. Yeah, they do. But what do I do? What about the mainland? Yes, in Mournhold itself, actually. If you're feeling particularly suicidal, you can check it out for yourself. Of course, it's not easy to get there these days because of the blight. Boats from Vardenfell are turned away immediately. There is one way you might get there, though. Speak with Essien Rain about transport to Mournhold. She might be able to help you out. Yeah, I don't know about that. I've got too much here to do. What about transport to Mournhold? Well, that's what you need, you'll need to do if you're hell-bent on tracking down the Dark Brotherhood assassins you claim have visited you. All right, thank you. More hold. That's not even on my map. Warren hold would be down here, or is it here? The mainland begins just... Actually, I think it begins right here. It's just not on my Vardenfell map. This Vardenfell is surrounded by Morrowind itself. It's like a big U. So you can see this is a map of all of Tamriel. All of this is the continent, and it's all under control of the Empire. 
We are in Morrowind to the east of Cyrodiil. You can see Imperial City was kind of on the bottom leftish, moving more to the left. We are right nearby Vivek, and you can see on the bottom right where Morrowind is. It's the capital of Morrowind. That's where we are right there. So you can see Mornhold is quite far from where we are, right by Vivek. Quite the distance. Now, I thought I saw some monks I passed by earlier. I have to ask about joining the Imperial Cult. Well, they were here. They're there. One of them ought to know. Hello. Greetings, citizens. I'm Keller Todd Merrill. Can I help you? Is this your first visit to Eminhart? Is there some specific place you seek? Yes, it is my first visit. Um, do you know anything about joining the Imperial Cult? Eminhart's Imperial Cart Shrine is in a small walled-in keep in the far western end of Castle Eminhart. The altar there cures disease and poison. Laletia Varian is the Imperial Priestess, Sinolian Tunifus, the, and the Mara Healer, Kea Zenithar Trader, and Ilias Truptor, the Stendar Savant. So you said it's in the far western end. Okay. If you want something, now's the time to talk. That would be this way. So many people here. Hmm. Interesting armor there, Imperial. Far western end. The big ship over there. Oh. That's Dwemer armor. It's strange. Is there a way to get past here? I'm listening. Oh. Hello. Welcome. Can I, t I tell you about the Imperial Cult? We invite you to become a lay member. I actually would like to become a lay member. We accept all citizens of good character and earnest faith. We ask only a one-time pledge of 50 drakes to aid us in our good works. Thereafter, the only cost of membership comes when you use a healing altar. Modest and nominal fees which help us in our mission to bring the words and blessings of the Nine to those less fortunate than ourselves. Do you wish to join the Imperial Cult? I do. We accept all citizens of... You've already, you've already told me the spiel. Uh, do you wish to join the Imperial Cult, or would you rather review the Imperial Cult requirements and doctrines with you before you join? I already know all of it. Uh, join the Imperial Cult. Thank you. You are now a layman of the Imperial Cult. Welcome, Sunil Rilvane, to our community, and you may rejoice in his blessings. Can I tell you about our uh, other services, or if you can donate more time and effort, would you like to become a lay servant? What's this about being a lay servant? It is not possible to become a priest or a consecrated cleric without joining cult orders. You would be forced to devote yourself full-time to the Imperial Cult, which doesn't suit adventurous people like yourself. But we do need lay servants, earnest laymen dedicated to serving the Nine for certain unglamorous but spiritually rewarding tasks. At present, we need almoners to serve Zenithar, lay healers to serve Mara, and shrine surgeons to serve Stendar. Okay. What about an almoner? Almoners gather alms from members and friends of the faith. We depend on donations to fund most of our good works. Almoners who are successful at bringing in generous donations may rise in the ranks of the Imperial Cult Service. If you are interested, speak to Oleus Truptor at the Imperial Chapel in Imperus, where I am. Well, do, you, do you give anything? Uh, any orders? Any duties? Lay healer. Lay healers gather ingredients for health and healing potions and minister to the sick and hurt and poor in isolated communities. It is difficult and sometimes dangerous work, but the spiritual rewards are great. If you are interested, speak to Sinolian Tunifus. Okay, so what about Lay... So, shrine Sergeant. 
It helps keep order in the shrines, carries messages and packages, and sometimes escorts priests and lay servants on a dangerous mission. This occasional service is ideal for bold, free-spirited adventurers like you. Supervising the shrine sergeants is my responsibility. Okay, but can you give me anything to do? What about advancement? You have the warrants and skills we expect in our higher ranks, but you have not yet dedicated enough time and service to the Nine to warrant advancement. I can tell you more about the Imperial Cult ranks and requirements if you like. Alright, but... You said you are in charge of the Shrine Sergeants. What do you offer? Hello, are you ready for a Shrine Sergeant assignment? I'm ready. Good, I can use a little help here. We treated a high elf named Cariel for swamp fever, but we later discovered that while he was here, a rare chapel limeware bowl disappeared from our shrine. Will you find this Cariel and retrieve our bowl for us? The high elves are a small, tight-knit community on Vardenfeld. Try asking other high elves if they know Cariel and where he lives. Well, that's an interesting assignment. There's not a high elf here. 